it's us. Uh. Think y'all can hear me? Hold on, this hot as hell. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all guys. Let's see if I can make this fan angle this way. Probably ain't gonna feel nothing, but it is hot as hell. Oh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure both, like, not both. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like, bro, it's been three weeks since the last upload. What's going on? Well, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It's just been too hot for me to be outside. Like, I don't have a garage, so me working on my car outside, plus I work 40 hour, you know, 40 hour weeks, sometimes even more. So it's kind of hard for me to do a video during the day, especially because I get off of work at six and by the time I get home, the sun's going down. So I ain't got no daylight to do anything. But uh, yeah, um, the weekends I've been, you know, trying to do different stuff as you guys seen i do have a twitch so if you guys haven't checked out the twitch bro y'all missing out funny stuff going on over there me streaming me watching videos uh rating cars stuff like that so i'm gonna leave uh extra channel down in the description if you guys want to go check it out that's when i'm gonna be posting all my clips uh videos stuff like that you feel me but yeah um recently on instagram i asked for you guys to leave me some questions so yeah shout out to everybody who left me a question to answer i got everything saved on my phone right now i'm hoping that this mic is still working bro i'm gonna check it like mid midway and realize like oh snap it wasn't even working but hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear but uh yeah we're gonna do a q a on dusty on my life um actually guys just to ask me random things and i got about like 40 questions let me see Well, yeah, about like 30 questions. So we gonna get into it, bro. Cause uh, obviously I'm not gonna sit here and answer every question. If I can, I will. But if I see that the video is gonna be too long, then I'm cutting it short, bro. But uh, got one person, JFB6. He asked me, got any parts don't need? Um, to be honest, bro, I probably do got some parts. Um, I don't really know like what exactly parts i have but i'm pretty sure i have some like i know i have an extra motor mount like a torque solution passenger mount that i don't need i'll sell that to you for like 70 bucks bro if you want it shipped i think it goes for like 100 or i can even give it to you for 50 bucks i don't really care um i don't need it it's just been taking up space so if you want it just hit me up i'll give it to you for a deal um hope i'm hoping my mic is like not hitting my face somebody else asked charlie mcgnarly like that how much was it how much was it from start to finish to go boost uh, if you guys don't know this kit is sponsored by max speed so i didn't i didn't pay a dime um obviously i had to pay to get some stuff made because they didn't send me a full kit so i had to pay to get my downpipe made and obviously i pay for a turbo but um for me to go well i'm gonna be i'm gonna say from a stand of not being sponsored um for you to go boost in this time period before it used to be like 3,500, 39, around there, and you was able to go boost. Now it's like up to the 5,000s. Well, that's how much you paid to get a kit. Now it's up to like the 5,000, $6,000 range for a kit. So um, yeah, if I was to say now to go boost and do it right with injectors, clutch, Honda, all that stuff, I'm going to say, because a kit right now is like 49, plus a clutch, that's five, around like five something, like five, it's going to be like $8,000, $7,000, to be honest with you, to go boost and do it the proper way. Um, obviously, there's cheaper ways. You get a used kit, um, you get a lot of stuff custom made, which is what I did for my downpipe, because uh, 
max speed as you guys know if you don't know now you know Nigga. yeah max speed they come with a comp turbo and i honestly didn't want a comp turbo everybody i know had issues with their comp turbo so i was like nah and get one so i didn't get one i opted out and got a pulsar turbo which has been lovely to me um no issues no smoke no shy plague no nothing that thing is solid and the compare like the price difference is dramatic i paid like six something for my turbo a comp turbo is like a thousand so yeah i'm not having any issues i build boost i build it fast car move fast car feel fast so yeah but yeah um i like i said like eight thousand seven thousand dollars to do it properly that's without like having people install it for you that's by yourself eight thousand dollars if you won't have people install it for you you might be paying like two two thousand dollars in labor or something or thousand dollars in labor so in total you probably pay like ten thousand dollars to go boost so yeah to be honest it's that's pretty cheap for what you know other cars like fast cars are going for like if you wanted to get a kit for like a b58 like a single turbo kit or a big turbo kit it's already like nine grand eight grand for a kit you feel me so yeah bro why do i wear slides with no socks what is wrong with me Like I said, I wanted to make sure that thing was recorded. Um, what do you do for a living? Um, before I used to do a social media, well, I was a social media manager for a uh, performance car company. Um, did a lot of work for them. And then now, right now, I, uh, I still do a lot of social media work. That's always asking if like, anybody have any social media things they want me to do, like promote your business, I know how to do that. So hit your boy, yeah. But um, right now what I do is, uh, I work for like a payment service place. And um, they have a podcast. I I run the podcast, edit the podcast, um, promote the podcast. I do a lot of social media work for them, just for the podcast. Job is cake. I I literally sit down and do nothing all day. So yeah, um, that's why you guys probably see like there's more content on like my social medias, like Instagram and TikTok, because literally I'm just there thinking about what I could do for my own self. But uh, yeah, it's pretty chill get paid all right ain't nothing serious um it's enough for me to do stuff to dusty and pay my bills so yeah what should i do to my stock knife gen to make it faster what you should do to your stock knife gen is go watch one of my videos yeah. um nah but for real to what you should do to your stock knife gen um there's a lot of things to be honest if you want to go fast you of course you know you throw some lowering said lowering your springs don't throw springs on your on your stock knife gen get coils i mean you pay 200 dollars extra than springs and you'll get some rev 9 coils that i've been on for like six seven years now well six years because i haven't had the car for seven years and um get Honda data get a downpipe and get a tune that just give you most of your ho your horsepower all motor this car's still gonna feel slow to be honest like i wish i never even went all motor but uh it was, a, it was a nice experience i ain't gonna lie um yeah do that downpipe intake if you really want to if you're not trying to go turbo get a tune hit my boy yosh my boy yosh tune up get you a nice price on a tune um uh, make it like a nice 220 you feel me on 93 if you go e85 you probably made like 225 228 something like that you feel me um yeah bro is it worth it hell no would i do it again hell no i would just go straight to turbo or like supercharger or something but it was a nice experience it made the engine bay look cool i'll tell you that but definitely first mod is lowering it because it, it changes up the whole car um so suspension anything suspension work would make your car feel faster uh honda because you're going to need it if you're going to put an intake or a downpipe on well actually you don't even need it for the downpipe but you will get a code for uh for like air fuel ratio being too rich because it that's what a downpipe does um but yeah you're obviously gonna need honda so first step suspension second step honda third step downpipe fourth step intake I and mean, if you want rbc where are the side skirt extensions from i need and what 
where's the side skirt extension from i need some to be more fake low oh uh, um my girlfriend bought these from icon motorsports she got off of ebay i don't even remember how much she paid i actually got a video on these two they was actually too long and i had to cut them so i need i need me some nice side skirts too i might get me some nice carbon fiber ones i ain't gonna lie to you but uh yeah i think she paid like 90 bucks i don't even know if it's still even on icon motorsports or even ebay but yeah it was like 90 bucks um she got it for like a birthday gift so shout out to her <sighs> when the bmw build coming honestly bro never um i love this car way too much to get rid of it and everybody i know who gets rid of their ninth gen absolutely regrets it they're like bro i missed that car it was so fun so reliable so easy to make fast cheap everything was cheap you feel me so um honestly bro i don't think i'm gonna be getting an m340 or a 340 anytime soon um if you know something happens out of the view out of the blue and like money just falls out the air for me then you know maybe i'll get a 340 um but right now not really looking for another car I am looking for like another daily though, but not really stressing about a whole nother build. I wish I had the money to do that obviously, but I, I don't. Florida's crazy expensive right now. So one guy asks, it's Juvens 25, it's underscore Juvens 25. Any good turbo kits for the knife gen Accord? I want to go boost 2016 manual transmission. Honestly, bro, I don't think there's any turbo kits for your car. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, you most likely will have to get one custom made, fabricated. You're going to pay the same price of a brand new turbo kit, like for a knife gen SI. So don't even feel bad that there's none for your car. Um, obviously, get good, reputable parts, get a good wastegate, get a good blow off valve. And then your intercooler could be any in, in, in any dual side intercooler. Um, piping, you get eBay piping and then just have a fabricator just fabricate everything up for you. Downpipe, get it fabricated. Manifold. I'm pretty sure if you're using like, if you have a stock, what comes in? A, oh yeah, if, if you have a stock Z3 head, you don't have like a K24 A2 or something, bro. You could just get a, a PRL, um, PRL uh, turbo manifold or a Mac, Max B turbo manifold, and yeah, just have everything fabricated up to that. You probably spend like I said, like five thousand bucks four thousand bucks somewhere around that range to do it um honestly that's that's the only thing you have to get it fabricated your car is going to be down for a while if you have a, a second car to daily or if you you know have a cool ass family member that lets you drive their car while your car is getting worked on then yeah be like five thousand bucks bro yeah i ain't gonna lie i would love to see that so if you actually do go that plan make sure you dm me i want to see it how we like oh one guy asks base lab underscore pro one asks how reliable is that turbo kit well haven't had any issues there's no leaks there's no boost leaks well that i know of um i, I am having an issue with my boost solenoid i think it, it took a crap on me but uh yeah um i daily drive the car at 450 horsepower so i guess you make the assumption is it bad or is it good so yeah uh no issues at all um only thing i guess i could say is that <laughs> making too much power broke some stuff um i remember i was doing a pool made a video on this as well i did a pool and uh ripped the ripped the, the passenger motor mount out of this damn thing like it destroyed it but it wasn't even the stock one it was the innovative one which i think was already faulty it ripped it out and uh my motor my motor almost fell out my car any future plans for the Civic? Shh. I gotta be quiet for that. I can't tell y'all too much. But yeah, I got some things in the works. Um, yeah, y'all just see. Uh, y'all gonna like it. I think y'all gonna like it, but definitely some stuff in the works. This is the same guy. <clears throat> I 
Damn. All right, this is the same guy who asked that last question. I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. Jankadio? I don't know, bro. You still selling your headlight intake? Um, it's not a headlight intake, bro. It's a headlight duck. But uh, yeah, I'm selling it. Um, my boy is actually getting it, so it's currently not for sale. I was supposed to give it to him today, but I have so much stuff going on that I couldn't even get it out of the dang car. As you can see, it's still here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's already being sold to my boy. Uh, FB, FB6 Dre asks, after everything you've done to the car, do you feel like it was worth it? Um, yeah, honestly, like I don't know why everybody thinks like I spent like, ugh, like twenty five thousand dollars building this car. Honestly, I feel like I'm still under ten thousand dollars on this whole car. Like probably even less, probably seven thousand dollars on this whole car. Believe it or not, like a lot of this stuff on the car is sponsored. Um, that's where you guys see me make sponsored videos. A lot of this stuff is uh, used. I just make him look nice and I make it work. Like, so, uh, yeah, I feel like everything's worth it. Made a lot of friends, uh, made a lot of connections, made a lot of business moves. Um, so yeah, honestly, feel like it was worth it. Now, if I didn't have anything going for myself, like nothing was coming off for me doing all this stuff to my car, then yeah, I'll, I'll feel like a retard for spending so much money on this car and not getting a dime back. But nah, everything's been worth it so far. I haven't seen anything being a, a reason why I should stop doing it. I mean, this car, this car honestly got me multiple, well not multiple, but got me my job at at uh, M Tech Performance for being a social media manager. Like this displayed my work. You feel me? Um, making videos displays my work. So without this car, I wouldn't be doing what I do right now. You feel me? Jensig Sieg. I don't know your name, bro. Jensen said, would you wrap the car or keep it a current color? Um, I thought about wrapping the car multiple times. It's not really an option right now for me, but uh, if I was to wrap it, I honestly would still wrap it a color that's similar to this blue, probably like, like that Daytona blue that you guys see on Chargers and Hellcats and stuff like that. I'd probably wrap it a color like that just because I want, when you pop open the hood for this, and you know the door jam stuff like that to still be the same color or near the same color i'll even wrap this car like a shade of purple if i wanted to because it just similar to what the original color was so yeah i thought about it is it something i'm gonna do within these few months nah honestly you want to change up like so there's a lot of stuff dusty needs to get touched up on like side skirts need to get replaced um i need to buy some wheels honestly the engine bay is good for now like it looks nice. I just need to repaint my RBC. Um, so engine base good. Uh, yeah, right now I just want to redo some current current things. I want to get rid of this lip and get a lip that I've been wanting for the longest. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all know. If y'all do know, put it in the description. I mean, put it in the, put it in the comments if y'all know what lip I'm talking about. Wall Street Burr said, "Sell me your Sosa headlight." Um, yeah, bro, I can't because it's already sold. Pretty underscore reggae XOXO, which is my girlfriend. She said, who do you love the most? You. I already know you wanted me to say that. But right now she's probably watching the video like, you better say it, nigga. <laughs> um, RT un underscore tells, small things to know. Oh, I can't speak today. Small things to know when wanting to go boost. Uh, small things to know. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, I guess, like, buy, rep buy reputable parts. Don't buy no eBay stuff and expect it to last forever. Um, buy motor mounts. Most definitely stock mounts is it, not, not going to be your friend. Buy motor mounts. Um, upgrade your fuel. Don't go boost on 75. I mean, don't go boost on 550 injectors or 7. 750 injectors you feel me buy at least a thousand cc's and up if you're trying to go boost um get a cash can set up because you know you're going to be push you're going to be pushing that psi that your turbo's making throughout the engine so if you want to stop the chances of having blow blot <coughs> oil blow blot oil bo oil 
blow by, you're gonna wanna get a catch can set up. Um, yeah, bro, take your time with it. Don't rush it, bro. If it's gonna be a daily, have somebody help you install it. Like I said, it took me like almost a week to install my turbo kit and it took another week to get the down part. Well, actually no, it took like three days to install my turbo kit. Friday, Saturday, Sunday by myself with a little help from my boy Sean and Abe, from my boys Sean and Abe. And then uh, I had to wait for the guy to make my, my down pipe. That took a week. Then you got to get tuned. So it takes a pro it's a long process. Don't rush it, enjoy it, learn from it. Um, mount your turbo up onto your manifold before you put it, before you put the manifold on, on the motor, it makes your life way easier. Kai.Kayla7 said, or Kayan, or Kayan.Kayla said, favorite gen other than ninth gen? Um, I like the eighth gens a lot. Honestly, the engine bay is way smaller than the ninth gen, so would I work on one? Hell to the no. Um, I like EKs a lot. I like EGs. I'm starting to like those, uh, I guess like 2005, 2000, now was it 2005? Like 2003. I forgot what they're called, 2003 Honda Civics. I forgot the chassis code, but I, I seen one that was turboed, um, case swapped. It was beautiful, bro. I, I'm starting to like those a lot. Um, I like the Type R's, 11th gen and the 10th gen Type R's I like a lot. I even like the 10th the gen SI look. I just hate the motor design because it's ass, but yeah, I like those. But other favorite, probably, probably, probably the 8th gen. I was actually looking for an HM before I got the knife. Before I got dusty. FS Raul said, can you beat a Hellcat? I don't know. I haven't tested it out yet. You feel me? Um, I guess I'll let you guys know now. I bought So I thought about it. I'm like, why would I show you guys what I'm getting? It wouldn't be a surprise. So y'all just gonna have to wait. And I'm sorry for that. But it's gonna be a banger. Trust me. So uh, we're gonna test that out and see if I can be the Hellcat. We're gonna go 15 pounds of boost and fourth. Keep that, you know, keep that thing solid. Hey yo, what the fuck? That underscore Black Asian asked me ever going to ever going to, <clears throat> ever going to rebuild the motor to push more power. Um, that's the goal. I do want to make at least like six. Nothing more, nothing less. If I make like 620, that's fine too. But nothing over like 650 because that's when like I heard random stuff start breaking. But yeah, 620 is enough. Uh, that's like a that's like a six second car, like a six second 60 to 130 car, probably even fives. You feel me? So that's enough for me. But yeah, that's the plan. I do want to rebuild the motor. Well, probably not this one, but get a spare one and rebuild it over time. Um, that's the goal. Definitely. I, I honestly would love that. It'll be a cool little video to make too. <clears throat> FG Hunt, how much power did Dusty Dino add? So the last time Dusty was on the Dino was on 12 PSI. It made 433 on 12 PSI, with it being a little bit rich on top end, so it could hold it. And uh, yeah, that's the last time it was on the Dino. And right now, I daily drive it on 12 PSI. Um, like I said, the kill map for it was well, not really a kill map, but like the high boost map is 15. And um, I talked to a lot of people who's like similar setup as me. And a lot of people say 15 horsepower is like 490-ish, depending on the health of your motor, 490-ish, sometimes 500, sometimes more than 500, you feel me? 480, so I'm, I'm around that range when I'm on 15 PSI. Am I gonna go more than 50 PSI? Nah. 15 PSI is where I'm stopping at. And I believe this is the last question. Oh wow, we did go through every question. I'll call you Unk, I'm call you Unk Kyle, even though you think it's UC1 Kyle. What K series head would be better? What, that's what it should, that's what it should say. What K series head would be better with a K24A4 block? So would, would better with the, yeah. Um, a K24A, a K20Z3, or like a K20A2, if you really wanna rev up higher. Um, yeah, you could be perfectly fine with an A4 head, just build it. But yeah, a Z3 head <clears throat> from a K20, 
or you can even put a K24 A2 head, still better than what you have A4. And you can also do uh, a A2 head, K20 A2 or K20 A3, one of those two from the RSX and or a K20A, which is, I think, I believe the Type R head, which is awfully expensive if you're really gonna do that. But yeah, man, um, that was the Q&A. Shout out to everybody who stayed throughout the whole video. Appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate y'all always tuning in and watch me work on this damn dog right here. My, my girl, Dusty. Dusty, McMusty, McCrusty, McHusty. I appreciate you. Um, y'all tune into my Twitch. I'm gonna start streaming a little bit more. All right, that's the go. Like, like, like I said, I get off work so damn late that it's hard for me to do everything I like. I like, I like to go to the gym after work, and by the time I get home, it's nine o'clock. So yeah, gotta get a better schedule going. But uh, shout out to you guys. Y'all gonna see more videos on Dusty. The weather in Florida is actually getting a little bit better. So hopefully, like next week, the 90 plus degree weather is gone, and I can start being outside again. You feel me? Going to meets, going to street racing events. I'm trying to watch a lot of people street race. Record my boys street racing stuff like that in gta but uh yeah man if y'all boys didn't like if y'all boys enjoyed the video y'all boys and girls please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda head to my merch site www.zubigarage.com cop anti lax switch cop some shirts cop some pants and by the way i have a drop that i'm gonna be doing very soon um yeah it's a lot of things I got in store for you guys. We're going to be reviving this channel a little bit more, having some more fun, doing some dumb things, and uh, just hanging out more at shows and doing stuff. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more. And your boys out. Peace.